Hey yo, fine people. This is Nyakon. Welcome to more blocks. And as today Max, more like the first um, one year since more blocks was launched. And when we launched it, uh, it was mostly a little hype here and there. People were excited, whatever, whatever. But mostly, what people were interested in was the Chrome extension that I had released with more blocks, which made it much easier to just copy components right within your builder without having to like move things here and there. And I want to show you the old one that we used, or probably the old way that we used to use the extension. So if you had the extension um, installed on your browser, this was the icon, you click on it and then the extension will load, just pushes the builder on the side and it loads over here. It was really seamless. It was um, a new way doing this um i wouldn't say i had pioneer it because i think there are so many ways uh, i haven't seen all the chrome extension out there but it was definitely one of the best ways to implement the extension into the builder uh and here we did have um, a filter over here that you could like, filter your stuff that you want there was a search bar if you wanted to search stuff so on and so forth so it was really clean and it actually did work but then you know, you cannot just stay on your loins and then you cannot just stay in your comfort zone. So since this is the first anniversary of more blocks, I think it is good that probably I introduce you to more block extension 2.0. So with this 2.0, it is actually going to change the look. We're changing the way that this works with the builder and how it integrates so seamlessly into the builder. And to do that, we are going to close this which is the old one. And then we are going to trigger the new one. All right. So this new icon is going to be the icon for the new extension that will be dropping hopefully very soon. So I'm just going to click on that and then I'm going to load it. This is what the new one looks like. And as you can see, it is a touch of premium and luxury. Uh, I believe those words, it looks more premium than the old one. And there's no two ways about that. When you compare the design and the film, this is way better than the old one. All right, let me take you through some of the features that we do have. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is dark mode. And dark mode is now implemented directly into the Chrome extension. And what dark mode does is, is it also respects your system preference. So if you have set system preferences for dark mode, it is going to respect those system preferences. I haven't set anyone, I haven't set any system preferences yet, but if I did set, it would have responded accordingly. All right. Also, let's say you click on this button and then you have set your preference to dark mode and dark mode color on breakdance builder looks like this. Okay. Let's trigger our dark mode too. So you can see when I say that this is very seamless, the colors, they blend together so that the extension does not look out of place. It doesn't look like um, it is something that you have to actually hassle. It, the colors blend so seamlessly. So that is something that I wanted to touch on. So let's remove that mode and then close everything. Sorry, let's go to preference and then yes. All right, let's close this one too. All right, so that was dark mode. The next thing that I want to touch on is your search. So when you search, you'll be able to search for snippets, search for components that you do want. So if you type in testimonial, you should see your testimonial search results just like that. So it is really good. Um, you don't have to search and then click on enter for your search should uh, to show. So that is that for the search. The next thing that I want to show you is the statuses. Statuses is a wrong name. It's a placeholder and it's going to change eventually when this comes out. But these are your categories. So in here, if I click down, you can see that these are all the categories that I do have. If I click on testimonial, I'm going to see my categories for my testimonial. If I click on banners, I'm going to see a collection of banners that I do have within my collection. So that is how that also works. Uh, the next thing that I want to show you, I'm not going to touch on your show feed right now. I'm going to do that later. But the next filter is going to be the all tier, the free and then the pro. So within more blocks, there is a free version. There is a pro version. 
So I'm going to click on the free ones. You are going to see all the components that are free. If you click on the pro ones, you are going to see all the components that are pro. So that is how that works. And if you want to see both of them at the same time, you can just click on all tier and that also works. So which is pretty good. Uh, on the right hand side, you do see that there are some icons over here and these icons are actually really cool. They play a big role in how you build faster and how you see more components at a time. All right. So let's say that you are scrolling down and it's becoming a bit too much and you want to probably see a, a little bit more component whilst you scroll. So what you can do is you can just click on your grid and then the extension is going to open up so that you can see more components and then you can scroll not too far down. So that is what this does. So if you want to bring it down, you can just click on your list icon and it's going to put it back into a list for you. So this is really good and it works with whether you are in a pro, you are in a free, you want to close it down, whatever the situation is, it works. So that is that. And now let's talk about your show favorite. With that, we are going to go into our cart. So in the cart, you have your name, you have this star over here and then this free telling that it's a free card. And then you come down here, you have your copy button and then you have this link over here. We are going to talk about the link later on, but your copy button, you click on it, you copy a component and then you can just paste it over here. There are no components in there, so I can paste them. Um, yeah, so you copy, you click on that and it copies your component. Um, the next thing is your testimonial. So your testimonial here to the right hand side is a star. So when you click on the star, now let's go down let's click on a bit more stars and, and then we have like three stars. We've done like three stars, right? What does the star represent? It represents your favorites. So if you have favorites, you want to, let's say, group a few components and then use them to build something you can just go through it instead of like copying everything at one time like copying this and then going back searching for more copying that going back searching for more. what you can do is you can favorite them and then you can just click on show favorite so that the ones that you have so the ones that you have favorite they are going to be stored over here and then you can just go in and just copy them so that you don't have to like hustle around going through everything copying one going through here copying one you favorite them and then you can just mean that you group them into the favorite ones and then you you can just sort them out and you can also use it one more thing is that when you are in your favorite section you can also sort by whether it is free or it is pro so let's go back let's uncheck this and let's add a few more of the pro ones so there's a pro one and then there's also a pro one right all right, so let's click on show favorite and over here, I'm going to click on pro. So when I click on pro, it shows me all my pro ones. And then you can also be in a grid if you want it. So that is that. And you can also show all your free ones. So if you just want to see the favorite free ones, you can also see that. Um, one thing that you should also know is that this doesn't, you, you don't just favorite it and like you close your browser or you refresh your browser and then everything goes away. No, it persists within your Chrome. So when we had refreshed this and then we go back and we trigger our extension, you can see that our favorites are still over here. So your favorites, they persist until you remove it. All right. So that is that for that. So we can on favorite um, the things that we do want. You can just remove that. And you can see that it just vanish away just like that. All right. So now let's say you are working in the Chrome extension. And then you want to actually preview how the component looks like at first you couldn't do it in the old one but in this new one you can actually preview how the component looks like before you even copy it. and to do that you can just click on this link icon and then you can have this whole thing pop up like that and with this you can also go through it and then you can see how it looks on tablet you can see how it looks on mobile too so you can see other responsiveness right here without having to go back to the website to preview how this looks and preview how that looks so that is that for the previews and other 
stuff like that one more thing that i want to mention is there's a button over here that says reload snippet so the name is going to change eventually but what this also talks about is that if let's say they are new components and i have announced that there are some new components you can find them the best way to actually try and hard reset the component list is by clicking on this and then when you click on that you can see that now it has changed i have some new ones over here called hero 104 hero 103 hero 102 and then our testimonial is back over here so that is how it works um maybe you might be thinking all right so if i refresh and then i have my favorite will my favorite still show yes they are going to show your favorite persists regardless of whether you have hard reset it or not so this is more blocks chrome extension version 2 and it is coming out preferably or probably by next month it is going to change the way that you work with more blocks it's going to change the way that you integrate the extension into your builder it is better it feels better it looks better um whilst i was working on it it took me a bit of time but it is almost here and i can't wait for you to also test it out and let me know what you think about it all right the name is nyakon thank you for watching um happy anniversary to more blocks thank you to everyone who purchased when this came out last year and i'm actually really grateful that you did and and hopefully you enjoy the new extension that is coming out as i am enjoying building it thank you peace out i'll catch you on the next one